everyone, and thank you for taking time to listen to this Learn and Burn. I am proud of you for making time to invest in yourself and your business. My name is Carrie Kane, and I am an independent consultant and national vice president with Arbonne. For the past six years, I have listened to countless Learn and Burns, and am so grateful for all the amazing leaders that have poured into my business through their Learn and Burn trainings. So it feels quite surreal to be recording one for you today, and I am honored to get to spend this short amount of time with you. A little bit about me before we get started. I live in North Canton, Ohio with my amazing husband, and I have three beautiful little girls. Their ages are five, two, and one. They are the heart and soul of why I do this business because I cherish my time with them so much. I have a bachelor's degree in American Sign Language Interpreting and a master's degree in education. I honestly never saw myself doing anything like Arbonne. However, like many of us, I fell in love with the products and then had the chance to watch my sister-in-law, Executive National Vice President Danielle Laver, build an incredible business in such an authentic way. She was classy, having so much fun, and truly seemed to have the best of both worlds as far as time and money, and that totally intrigued me. So I began my business about six years ago, and although it has been quite the journey of ups and downs, it was the best decision and has completely altered what my life is today. In a nutshell, I became a district manager relatively quickly. I promoted to area manager, lost my area manager title because honestly, I was paralyzed by fear and I lacked consistency in my business. After lots of personal growth, I got my area manager title back and promoted to regional vice president on my 28th birthday, which was the best birthday present ever. Two years later, we went nation, and I still have to pinch myself a year after the promotion because that, too, seems so surreal. Despite the discouragements that we all face in this business, despite the setbacks, defeats, and growth that we all have to endure, my life is so different today than it would have been if I had not stepped out in faith six years ago. And believe me, it was a step of faith because I was scared to death to start this business. Today, I am home with my girls, dropping them off and picking them up from preschool, loving what I do, traveling to amazing places, meeting the most incredible people, and my husband and I were able to pay off our mortgage and become completely debt-free by the age of 30. When I think about this business and what it has done for me and my family, I could literally cry with gratitude, and I realize that this business is a gift worth sharing. Other people deserve the chance to hear about this opportunity and have that same chance to alter the course of their lives for the better. And you guys, it does not matter where you are in your business today or what tangible level of success you feel like you have achieved, because what we have to offer people is an opportunity. And that opportunity was the same six years ago when I was a brand new consultant as it is today as a national vice president. So keep in mind that you do not have to have a certain title or be driving the white Mercedes or making a certain amount of money to inspire people with this opportunity. I have always been passionate about sharing the opportunity, and although this business has uncovered a ton of weak areas that I possess, one of my strengths has always been sponsoring. So what I want to share with you today is how to help people move from prospect to partner. And what I mean by that is someone that is a prospect of yours, that you'd like to do this business with or that has expressed interest, helping them transition to someone that partners with you and joins you as an independent consultant that is working the business. Most of the time, this transition is a process. People say no because they don't know what you do yet. I noticed early on in my business that I would plant seeds with people, expose them to Arbonne, but then not really know where to take it after that initial exposure. It usually takes several positive exposures to Arbonne for someone to decide to join your business, and I struggled to effectively do that. I would give out a sample that maybe turned into a sale, but nothing more, or have a fabulous host that I thought would be great at the business, but would leave the party not knowing how to follow up with her. Or someone would show interest in the business, so I'd send them some information and then never hear from them again. I felt frustrated and knew that if I could just help people see more of this amazing company, they would be more open to the opportunity. So what I have learned in my personal business is a little something that I like to call the power of the pipeline. I want you to visualize a pipeline with me where you put something in one end of the pipe and it is transferred to the other end. Our businesses work like this. If we help people move from one exposure to the next, then this is how our business operates, is sort of like this pipeline. 
And there are five P's that I want you to pay attention to in your Arbonne pipeline. On the left-hand side of the pipeline is a funnel-shaped opening where we have our first P, which is people. These are all the people we know and meet and share Arbonne with. And the more people we have entering the pipeline of our business, the more results we will see. Then across the pipe itself, we have three smaller openings, which represent the three main ways that we introduce Arbonne to people. The first is products, the second is parties, and the final one is prospects. Let's look at each of these. Sometimes we give people a product sample and expose people to our amazing products first. Other times we may ask somebody to host a party for us and introduce us to new people. Or lastly, we share the business opportunity first and invite someone to meet us for coffee, listen to an opportunity call, or attend a Discover Arbonne. These people enter our pipeline as prospects first. So what I have found over the years is that oftentimes one exposure to Arbonne is not enough to make a decision about the business, which totally makes sense, right? I mean, think of your own story, because for most of us, it took time and several positive exposures before we became independent consultants. So find a good fit for a person's initial exposure through product sampling, hosting a party, or attending a prospecting event with you, and then you can skillfully help funnel them through to the next positive exposure, which helps them gain knowledge, confidence, and increase the likelihood that they will join your business, which leads us to our fifth P, partner. The right side of your pipe opens up and represents the people that you have helped move through the pipeline and have had several positive exposures to Arbonne and now are joining you as an independent consultant and business partner. So let's jump right in. If we introduce people to the product, meet someone for a one-on-one -on -one or give a product sample to try, that's great but you can get really skilled at turning one-on-ones or sampling into a group event, which will allow you to be introduced to their networks and meet several people that you didn't know before. So let's look at how to go from product to party. When someone tries a product sample and loves it, you can easily say, I'm so glad to hear that you loved it. There are several great ways to get you your products at a discount, but the best way, honestly, is to get a few friends together, we'll have a fun girls' night, and then you can shop at the host discount, which is the best deal for you. Or say something like, I see you have a lot of products on your wish list, so what most people do is have a little spa night, and you can save a ton on everything. Oftentimes, the reason people say no to hosting something is because they don't see the value in hosting. Once they have tried products, love them, and want them, they have value in hosting to get the best deal. And on a side note, if they say no to hosting, don't write them off as a business builder. Share with them about the income opportunity. They may have a huge need that Arbonne could fulfill, and that may be where they find their value in actually committing to something, which if they do have an interest in earning extra money, funnel them into a prospecting event or call. Other ways to go from product to party are to say something like, it seems like you really loved these products. Can you think of a few other people in your networks that you know would also love to try these products? Awesome. Let's set up a time I can come over and let your friends sample these products too. When they schedule something with you, you have successfully gone from product to party. So now let's move on to party. Anytime you schedule a party or group event, workshop, or whatever your success line calls them, you have an incredible opportunity to have someone join your business. One of the best tips I learned in my business was a tip that came from the amazing ENVP, Linda Parker. And it is simply that it is a lot easier for someone to say yes to something that is already in motion. This was definitely true for me personally because when I found out my sister-in-law did Arbonne, I was intrigued secretly, but I said no to the opportunity. I didn't think I had what it took to be successful. I was scared about what others would think. I'm not a salesperson. I didn't think my broke friends would like the products or be interested. However, I helped my mom host a party for Danielle, and I was amazed at the response. Our family and friends, people in my network, bought tons of products, were excited about everything, and wanted to become clients and consultants. That was a turning point for me because that party set something in motion and I realized that that could all be my business or I could pass it off to Danielle and be left on the sidelines. You can often encourage a hostess to become a business partner because you can help him or her see the potential from their get together. At the end of a party, if the host is someone I would like to work with, because remember one of the perks of this business is that we get to choose who we work with. 
So if it's somebody that I really liked and connected with and I would love to partner with me in this business, I will often say to the host after the guests have gone something like this. Sarah, thank you so much for hosting. This was such an awesome party. Your friends were so much fun, and they loved this. Several of your friends want to become preferred clients, order products, and booked parties. This was a huge success. You know, you have incredible networks, and I just have to ask you, have you ever thought about doing something like this? And then I just listen to their response. You will be surprised at what they say. Most of the time I get something like, you know, I hadn't until tonight, or actually, yeah, I've been looking for something to create some extra money. Even if they say no, that they haven't thought about it before, they most often provide the reason why. Like, oh, no, I could never speak in front of people like you just did. Or, oh, I just don't have the time. And this gives you insight into their hesitation or roadblock, because oftentimes it has nothing to do with Arbon. It has more to do with the insecurities that they have within themselves. And so you can then address those specifically after they respond, no matter what their answer was, I say, okay, well, I had to ask because everything from this party could be yours and it would be an awesome start to a business. Compliment them and tell them that you think they would be great at it and that you would have fun working together. Explain that they would be supported and that you are in this together because the idea of starting a business can be a bit scary. You can say, I'd love to grab coffee and give you some information to help you see if this could be a fit for you. What time do you have free tomorrow? There are so many reasons why offering the business opportunity to the host works well, and I'm going to give you three of the top ones. The first one is that they're able to see their potential business already in motion. The second is because there's a deadline for making a decision because now you have orders that need to go in. They need to be entered either under your ID or the host's new consultant ID if they decide to join. So it makes sense that you would need to meet, give the host some information, and have a decision in a short window of time. The third reason is that most of the time if the host is intrigued at all, they don't want to pass up the opportunity to have the benefits from the party not count towards the start of their business. So now let's move on to prospects. When someone is interested in the business or you are meeting with someone to give them more information on the Arbonne opportunity, ask them at the end of your time together where they see themselves. I like to say something like, you know what, after meeting with me and hearing just a little bit more information, I would really like to just kind of see, kind of gauge where you are so that I know how to best help you from here. So after hearing a little bit more information, just let me know if you're a one, two, or a three. One is, you know what, it sounds great, but I think I'm really just interested in the products right now. Two is, you know what, I'm interested in the income opportunity, but I need a little bit more information. And three is, this sounds great, I'm ready to get started, what does that look like? No matter what they say, one, two, or three, you can funnel it back into a party or get together and then use the steps that we just talked about. Because remember, this business is all about networking, and it's not so much who you know, it's who they know as well. So even if that person does not pan out as a business builder, if you can turn it into a party and on average get in front of five to six new people in their network, you have a higher chance of finding someone who is interested. So if they're a one and they just want product, you do like we talked about before and tell them the best discount comes with getting a few friends together. If they say there are two, then you say, that's perfect. I can try and tell you what it is that I do, or I can show you. So let's pick a night in the next week or two that I can come pamper you and a few of your friends, and you can see what it is that I do. That way, you'll have a chance to see how your family and friends respond, and if nothing else, you'll at least get your products that you want at an amazing host discount. I think you'll be really surprised at how well it goes, so let's look at our calendars. If they say they are a three and want to start a business, then you schedule launches or several group events where they host or ask people to host for them, again, getting you in front of a lot of new people. So from now on, when people show interest but you're not sure where to go next or how to get them off dead center, practice moving people from one step to the next and you will be a lot less frustrated in your business. We often don't want to be pushy or overbearing. So we give them one exposure to Arbonne, and then we leave it up to them to let us know what they want to do. We forget that we are the consultants, which means our job is to consult. So there is nothing wrong with saying to someone, you know what, I hear what you're saying, and what I highly recommend is that you get a few friends together because I think it's really going to get you the best deal or help you see if this could be a fit for you or help you get off to the best start in your business. 
Or, no matter what their response is, you can always say something like, that's great. In that case, what most people do is have a few friends over. If you can remember those two phrases, what I highly recommend or what most people do, it's just a great way to encourage people to move on to the next step. So whether we are brand new or seasoned consultants, we are the experts and know more about this business than our prospects do. So don't be afraid to sincerely recommend or suggest the next step because it's in their best interest. Lastly, the thing that I have learned in this business is that too often we get hung up on the perfect verbiage or saying the exact right thing. But I have seen time and time again that this business is more about living, loving, and listening than it is about perfect verbiage. Living because you are the walking advertisement for your business. So having an attitude of gratitude, a positive demeanor, a cheerful spirit, a love for life, that positive energy will attract people to your business because they will be attracted to you. Loving because we need to put other people before ourselves and genuinely care about those that we want to do this business with. We need to love people where they are in life. If it's not the right fit or they don't see the possibilities at that time, love them anyway and move on to find the people ready for this opportunity. Work with other people in your pipeline. And listening because it's more important to find a need than it is to force information that maybe doesn't pertain to their situation. Get really good at listening. People have needs all around us, but we miss it if we're so focused on what we're going to say that we're not really hearing what they are saying. Needs rarely sound like this. Hey, I want to join your team. It sounds more like, I wish we could afford private schools, or not sure we're going to be able to swing that vacation this year, or I'm really looking for a good skincare program, or man, I wish my husband didn't have to work so much overtime. And we can say, you know what, I have something that might be able to help you with that. There is no better time than now to sponsor people into your business. Arbonne is in huge momentum with some amazing changes on the horizon. And as we enter the holiday season, there is no time that people are more aware of or stressed by their financial situation. This is the time where people pick up retail hours, side jobs, are searching for ways to create extra income. It's also the time for getting together, having holiday parties, and seeing people you have not seen in a while. Go out and live, love, and listen this holiday season. Help people move through the pipeline of your business so they can truly see how incredible this company is, and I can't wait to hear how your business transforms. I wish you so much success and joy this holiday season, and I thank you again for your time. There are no guarantees regarding income, and the success or failure of each independent consultant, like any other business, depends on each independent consultant's own skills and personal effort. You should not rely on the results of other consultants as an indication of what you should expect to earn. Arbonne publishes a summary of average quarterly compensation that are paid to Arbonne independent consultants. This information is updated annually and can be viewed online at www. Dot arbon.com forward slash company forward slash ICCS dot ASP.